Guidance on masks during the coronavirus pandemic has evolved from health officials instructing Americans not to wear them to some states now mandating masks in public. Our White House correspondent Jen Pellegrino explains. Just months ago, the act of purchasing a face mask was considered taboo. Health experts told Americans that masks would not protect them. And then the guidance shifted to a CDC recommendation. And finally, for some states, a mandatory action went out in public. While President Trump has largely opted against wearing facial coverings himself, he made headlines when visiting Walter Reed on Saturday. He donned a mask out of the consideration for the patients at the hospital. We're going to Walter Reed Hospital and we're going to be seeing soldiers, our great heroes, our wounded and some badly wounded and they're incredibly brave and great people and we're going to see also the warriors on the front line of COVID and quite a few. I think when you're in a hospital, especially in that particular setting where you're talking to a lot of soldiers and people that in some cases just got off the operating tables, I think it's a great thing to wear a mask. I've never been against masks. But I do believe they have a, a time and a place. Even the first lady tweeted Sunday morning, sharing a video of her visit to a women's center this past week, also wearing a mask. While there's some gray area in regards to the efficacy of face coverings, particularly the homemade variety, new research out of UC Davis indicates that those who wear a mask when social distancing is not possible cut their risk of infection by 65%. Surgeon General Jerome Adams and Admiral Brett Jawad both spoke in interviews Sunday morning, urging Americans to do their part. The disease course is about two to three weeks. So just as we've seen cases skyrocket, we can turn this thing around in two to three weeks if we can get a critical mass of people wearing face coverings. Everybody, if you're out in public, we have to have about 95% uh, mask wearing or face coverings. As COVID-19 cases rise across parts of the country, the Surgeon General went on to say that he does not feel a nationwide mandate is at all necessary, leaving it to states and local municipalities to decide. He argues that education is the best path to encouraging more Americans to adopt the practice. Jen Pellegrino, One America News, the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.